what is kickstarter.com and how it can help you launch a product, how it can help you start a business, and how it can help you make a full-time passive income online. Now I've personally developed and launched several products on Kickstarter and have done so for other creators and other companies as well. In fact, my very first product with no experience, very first try, I raised $50,000 on a product that I developed in just 30 days. First, let's talk about what kickstarter.com is. So I'm gonna swipe my screen over here. All right, so this right here is the homepage of kickstarter.com. But first, let's talk about what crowdfunding is. So I'm just gonna actually pull up a definition here. Let's just go define crowdfunding. It says right here, the practice of funding a project or venture by raising many small amounts of money from a large number of people, typically via the internet. Okay, so crowdfunding is for if you don't want to pull money out of your own pocket and you don't want to go take an investment from someone in order to develop a product and purchase its first order of inventory. Instead, you can crowdfund, like the definition said, and raise small amounts of money from large amounts of people. So let's say that you have a product that you want to launch and start to sell. You don't want to take on an investment, you don't have the money or don't want to pull the money out of your own pocket to buy your first batch of inventory. So what you can do is list your product on kickstarter.com and then people have the opportunity to donate money to your project, to your product. And then hopefully you receive enough donations from people to fund your first batch of inventory. Now I use the word donation a little bit loosely. It is technically a donation, but you promise them a reward in return for, the, for their donation. So if they donate money to you, you already have a structure set up where if they donate X amount of dollars, they receive whatever it is in return for that donation. So typically how this works is you set a price, and every time someone donates at that price, you give them one of your product once you've gone and manufactured and produced that product, right? So essentially what you're doing is taking a pre-sale. You're taking this pre-sale up front, capturing their money, you get their money, and you get to use that money to go buy this first batch of inventory and then ship their product to them. Now that might have been a little bit confusing, so let's actually look at a product here on kickstarter.com that's live right now and walk you through that, show you what it looks like. So we can click on explore up here in the top left. I'm gonna click on trending so we can see kind of what are the more popular projects right now. You can see right here, here's a first page of popular projects. Okay, so I'm just gonna click into this first one right here, top right. Sorry, not the first one, the third one, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to walk you through this. Okay, so we see the title. It's the world's best travel jacket with 25 features by Bobax. Okay, and here's their video. You can watch that, and it'll tell you about their product and all that. And then over here on the right side, we see a few different things, and I'll walk through each one of these. The very first one right here. In green is the amount of money that they've already raised, okay? And then down here below is uh, the goal that they initially had when they launched their campaign. So when you have your product and you list it on Kickstarter, you list it with a goal, a goal amount of how much money you want to raise for the product. This is important because if you don't reach your goal, you don't get any money at all. So say you set your goal for 10000 and you raise 5000 you don't get those $5,000. You don't get anything at all because you didn't hit your goal. But once you hit your goal, say it's 10000 you get $10,000. And then if you surpass your goal, as we're seeing right here, right, their goal was 50000 but they're already well over a million, they get to keep everything past their goal. So as of right now, this $1.1 million, that is theirs to keep at the end of this campaign. Uh, this third number down here, 48 days to go. So there's 48 days left on this campaign. If we click on updates and scroll down, they launched on the 14th. What's today? Today is the 25th. So they've been up for about 10 days and they have 48 more to go. So they'll likely raise quite a bit more money within those next 48 days. Okay, and then this middle number here is the number of backers. Backers just means someone who donated money to the campaign. So if you come here and donate money to this campaign, you're a backer. And you can see that just changed right there. So someone just now back the campaign. You can scroll all the way down through this page and it'll tell you more about the product. You can look at more pictures, images, some GIFs, all that, right? And then right here on the right side, I'm gonna move me over to the left here now. Right here, this is the first reward level. So if you pledge $119 or more, you'll get one sweatshirt or one windbreaker. 
And then if we keep scrolling down, we can check out the other pledge levels. Here's one for 129. There's another one for 129. This one's for a vest. Um, and then right here we see their jacket for 139 and $149. So anyways, these are the different reward levels or pledge levels that you can choose to donate money. So if you were browsing projects here on Kickstarter and you liked this jacket, you wanted one, you would come here, click on that level, click continue, fill it all out, it'll take your credit card information and all that. And then once the campaign is over, the creators of the campaign will receive all of the money that they raised. Then they'll take that money and fund their manufacturing and fulfill your orders. So like I was explaining a little bit earlier, they don't actually have this jacket in inventory already. They don't have thousands of units of this jacket or even hundreds of units of this jacket made already. They likely have a prototype, maybe a few prototypes, but that's it. And with that prototype, they then listed this project on kickstarter.com with this entire campaign and are raising money to then go fund their first batch of inventory. So for these 50 days or so that this campaign is live on kickstarter.com, People are going to be backing the campaign, pledging their money. The creators at the end of the campaign are going to receive that money. The backers are just going to have to sit tight for a little bit while the creators manufacture the product. Once it's manufactured, they'll deliver that product to the customers, and now they have a legitimate business that's up and running, wheels are turning. They got that off the ground with really no money at all out of pocket. All right, so that there is Kickstarter.com. Now I've personally developed and launched several products on Kickstarter and have done so for other creators and other companies as well. In fact, my very first product with no experience, very first try, I raised $50,000 on a product that I developed in just 30 days. So if you want to learn more about that and how you can actually do the very same thing too, make sure and smash that subscribe button because more videos are coming soon showing you exactly how I've done that. Drop a like if that's something you want to learn more about, but most importantly...